it's a little over five years ago probably oh now over five years ago because my notes are old uh <laughs> you formed the runaway guys as a collaborative let's play channel with you john and nintendo capri Sun. yes so how did that channel start well, uh, John and I had been talking for a while at that point about doing collaborative stuff, and at the time, uh, at the time, we'd gained the ability to travel around and meet up and that kind of thing, and we decided that we were going to record some stuff at MAGFest, which was a convention that we both wanted to really attend. That was our first convention. Um, we ended up contacting Tim. Tim was originally going to be the first guest, but he wound up being a permanent team member, and yeah, that's more or less how it started, was just... A want to do things together, things opening up, allowing for us to do local multiplayer games, which would give us a lot more options. We also liked the idea of the dynamic of being in the same room as the other people, which at the time was not super common. Pretty much any collaborative channel was either done in post commentary over Skype over over like one person playing a game or it was people playing a game online. But we really liked the idea of a dynamic of it all being in person so we could like physically interact with each other and there was <laughs> that energy in the same room. And that was why we did it just because at the time that wasn't really something a lot of people were doing. Right. And nowadays it's what a lot of people do. Yeah. <laughs> it's, so just one, it's, it's just one of those... <laughs> Well, it's one of those things that just kind of became more viable with time, and also because, you know, when we were when we were making a new form of media with YouTube, we could do anything we wanted, but instead we just all moved to Los Angeles. <laughs> Can't really deny it, though. Like, that is really what happened. We could have made any city YouTube city, but nope, Los Angeles. <laughs> I mean, they kind of have one in New York. I don't know. I, I, don't, I wouldn't say there's as many in New York. Uh, so, was the Runaway Guys the originally intended name for the channel? There were a lot of names that we went through. Um, the beta name that we had before we thought of anything was just calling it Kaizo. Basically, so we could just mention <laughs> it in public and people would think we were just talking about John's LP of Kaizo, but we were actually talking about something else, so that was just a code name. Um, all of those names that are in that teaser video for Runaway Guys when it opened on my channel were actually names that we called out just like in a call where we were trying to come up with names for the thing so mm. there there was split screen shenanigans there was the moving platforms there was press start to lp and yes i really did yell out press l to p <laughs> <laughs> so that really was something that happened in a call it was uh, reenacted for the video because we weren't recording the call at the time though but those are all in that video those were all names that we really did come up with I, that would be the most interesting quick time event I've ever seen. No lie, when I have to go to the bathroom, I'm like, man, I need to press L really badly. Like, I really do say that. <laughs> Teacher, I have to press L. Yeah. So what was, I guess we kind of talked about just having um, everyone sort of get together and having a multi-person channel. So that was really the channel's intent, right? Yes. So further on to that, what kind of, what decides what games that you play on the channel? Um, we all suggest different things. I will admit that a lot of the early ideas were my ideas, but with time, we just kind of, you know, John would suggest more things, Tim would suggest more things, we'd wind up doing different stuff. It's really funny, um, it really is just the process of one of us will pitch a game that we want to do, the others will say what they think, and we just kind of go from there to decide. Um, sometimes we go in blind, sometimes it's a game that we all know, sometimes it's a game that only one of us knows, and is more or less teaching the others. Um... It's kind of funny, though, because I, I know that uh, with certain game choices, people get like kind of confused. Like, you know, how did that come to be? <laughs> I remember when we did Little Big Planet, people were like, man, John must have had to have like twisted Chugga's arm super hard to get him to play a PlayStation game. But in actuality, Little Big Planet was my idea. <laughs> it was a really fun game. It, it was so funny that I saw everyone saying, like, God, like, how'd they ever get Chugga to agree to do a PlayStation <laughs> game? And I'm like, it was my idea. <laughs> <laughs> Just sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, why did you decide to create a brand new channel for the co-op and versus games instead of maybe just placing it all on one person's specific channel? It was just that there's going to be some people out there inevitably that maybe they like John and Tim and think they're really funny, but they think I'm really annoying. Or maybe they think that Tim and I are really great, but they think John's, you know, too much of a jerk and they don't really like watching him or, you know, anything like that. <laughs> Man, I'm just like berating my teammates when saying this. But, well, I was um, about to say, you totally skipped over Tim. Well, I mean, <laughs> I guess... I guess three for three. I, I, okay, maybe they think that Tim's gross. I don't know. <laughs> but, like, inevitably, there's going to be some viewers that'll like some but not others. Sometimes people like one guest but not another. And it was just one of those things that by having it on its own separate 
separate channel. You avoided that crossover. Um, you avoided having stuff that people didn't want to, like, pushed on them by being subscribed to one person's channel. So we thought making a second channel made sense in that case. Okay, so uh, further on that question, um, so not being partnered with the network didn't have anything to do with that? Or potentially being partnered with one? Um, not really. It, TRG is its own channel, though, so it technically has its own contract with networks whenever it's in one, but that's really about it. It wasn't anything that a network told us to do or anything that a network wanted us to do with it or anything like that. It was just a conscious decision because we didn't want to push stuff on people. It's also why you don't see me commonly tweet about TRG stuff on my feeds. Like, I'll I'll tweet out, like, hey, we began a new series, and, you know, I'm really happy with how the editing turned out. You know, I'd really like it if you checked it out if you are interested in that whatsoever. But it's why I don't tweet out, like, every TRG video on my feed and just ones that I think are particularly notable because I just don't want to overload people with something they might not care about. Oh, okay. I mean, that's not... That's respectable. So, uh, who does the video editing? Uh, that would be me. Uh, sometimes for better, sometimes for worse. I've had a few more instances in the past year than I've uploaded the wrong part than I'd like to admit, but... Wait, uh, what? <laughs> yeah, there, there have been a few times in the past year, uh, with Dokapon where it was gone for, like, four months, and then when it came back, I uploaded, like, the episode after the one that was supposed to be there. Oh. But I've, I've adopted, like, better numbering systems for it, so that doesn't happen anymore, and... Yeah, it's just kind of a thing that was happening for a while. Um, I ha I handle the editing, uh, I handle uploading, I do all those things um, on top of what I do for my channel. It's sometimes challenging in the case of Four Swords, where there's a lot of editing that goes into that, and all the multiple screens that have to be shown, but then in other cases like uh, Dokapon Kingdom, the most editing I do there is just cut it out when we're browsing a shop for ten minutes. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I... so... Plugging my own thing, I, I actually have a multi-person channel where we've started playing, well, not started, actually, we're about at the same place where you guys are in terms of what videos have come out so oh, far. Oh, okay, I was about to say, do you mean, like, internally or not, though? Because uh, <laughs> at the time of this interview, internally, I, I know we've mentioned this in a few public places, internally, we are on week 130, and we've posted, like, week 60 on the channel. <laughs> Yeah, uh, story-wise, we're around the same area, actually, but mm -hmm. it's it's been, like, my favorite slash easiest thing to edit, because I just kind of let it go, and each week just sort of plays itself. It's been a really easy time. It definitely can be. Editing TRG, depending on the game that it is, it ranges anywhere from effortless to harder than the stuff I do on my channel. <laughs> um, does the editing process itself change for TRG content versus your own? There's multiple audio tracks, but because I use the audio interface that we talked about in an earlier part, it handles all the audio syncing. I don't have to worry about any of that. Um, so I don't have to like keep resyncing the audio all the time. I used to, actually. There, there was a time where we used Blue Yetis, and I used a audio interface emulator called Crystal that uh, handled doing the audio, and it, it, it wasn't the best program in the world. I, I much prefer Adobe Audition, and I much prefer the setup that we have now, so... Yeah, once I've synced the audio at the beginning of the video, it's good for the rest of it, and there's nothing more that I really have to do in the way of do syncing it or anything like that. Okay. And um, so we've we've kind of already talked about, just now actually, the equipment um, changes for TRG recordings versus your own. Um, my guess is that you continue to use the same microphone uh, that you use for your own channel as well as for the TRG recordings. Yeah, they, I use the same type of microphone. It's just a matter of having multiples of them. Right. And then does any other equipment... Are there any other equipment changes besides the audio? Not really. Um, anything I'd use to record Wii on my channel, I'd record Wii with on TRG. If I was going to record HDMI whistling on my channel, I'd do the same thing there. Uh, probably the only exception to that would again be Four Swords, where we had to record five screens, which that was done across multiple laptops. I may have to pick your brain on that later. <laughs> toot my own horn a little bit it is by far the most complicated uh, recording setup that i've ever built uh and it looks based off the layout it looks really nice <laughs> thanks you did a very good job how does the recording process itself work for the channel very sweaty um <laughs> we uh we 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 usually go into my office we have separate chairs we used to sit in a couch together though but that got a little bit too overly comfy so we, we sit in separate <laughs> chairs now. We space each other apart so that we're not hitting on each other's mics easily because 
obviously you want there to be a good distance so that um, I'm not appearing on John's mic all the time unless I'm getting super loud and, you know, so there's not echo and all that. Right. Um, we just kind of all sit in the room around the TV, far spread it as much as we can, and just kind of talk. <laughs> we uh, we used to split up the episodes and do like an intro, like every episode rotating out though. But we just kind of decided to kind of go with it and um, split the episodes at more uh, lengthy intervals. So like for Dokapon Kingdom, even though we do an intro at the beginning of every week and say something to start off each week, um, those are recorded in blocks of like twenty weeks at a time. Right. Um, you'll always know if we are recording a brand new session because we spend the first like two minutes going like, we don't introduce ourselves. We just go, right? Well, Dokapon's a, Dokapon's a good game, though, because uh, for that, because it has the names of the characters like on the screen. So I, I can name my character Chugga and everybody knows who that is. Yeah, no extra. And again, why it's such an easy edit is because if you can do it right, then you don't have to do any extra overlays or anything like that. No text graphics to say who's who or any of that. It's really nice. It is. Uh, any game that allows you to name your own characters in a multiplayer session is pretty nice. <laughs> oh, it is. Yeah, there's a reason why people like Super Smash Brothers so much. Mm-hmm. So, how is your honorary fourth player chosen? Depends, really. Um, in most cases, we'll pick a game, and usually the question will arise of, should we have a fourth player for this? And if we think it's so, then we'll reach out to somebody that we think would be a good fit for that particular game. Maybe somebody that's a known fan of that series, or somebody that we just think would be really funny as a matchup for that. Um, of course, some player fours will get to return, and that's usually based on just how well we think it went over and how well their presence was received, that kind of thing. And um, on a personal note, are there has there been a fourth player on your channel that has been your personal favorite? I don't want to pick favorites out of my teammates because I like them for different reasons, and these are all people that are my friends, so I, I don't exactly want to like say, like, oh, yeah, this person was really good at that, but they really could have worked on this or anything like that. I try not to overanalyze that sort of thing, though, because TRG is very much about having fun with your friends. Okay. And um, finally, about the recording process, are the games are most games played all the way through in one night, or are they recorded over multiple nights? We've already talked about Dokapon, of course, but... Multiple nights. I don't think our voices <laughs> could handle playing through some of these games. Uh, usually the longest they go on for, there's some games that'll take like five days to record, but... Yeah, usually, usually two nights, three nights, four nights. Usually, usually around there. <laughs>